And we begin today's health report with a measles epidemic that is sweeping through northwestern Cameroon. Reports say more than 300 children have been infected and several have died in just a week. Health authorities say the epidemic got its start because people were refusing to vaccinate their children. They say teams have been deployed to all the affected areas to make sure all children are vaccinated. Measles is caused by a virus that is spread through the air by breathing, coughing or sneezing. The measles virus is highly contagious. And a joint project by two U.S. schools, North Carolina State University and the University of North Carolina, aims to replace insulin injections with an insulin patch. At a lab at North Carolina State University, Dr. Zengu is on a mission to stop diabetes. And on this mission, he and his team of researchers believe they are on the way to a major breakthrough, replacing insulin injection shots. Uh, basically, we developed this kind of so-called smart insulin patch, and uh, which can sense the blood sugar level and uh, release the insulin at the right time. Only once the blood sugar level goes up, and the insulin can be quickly released from the patch. And uh, meanwhile, you know, once the blood sugar level goes down uh, to a normal range, and then you know, less insulin released or just inhibited. And uh, uh, basically, you know, the, this kind of smart insulin patch is not only smart and it's also um, painless. So the release. This insulin patch, colored to show the insulin once inside the mice, is smaller than a pinky fingernail. A closer look shows its micro needles, each packed with insulin and special enzymes designed to identify when blood sugar levels are low. Mm, we are trying to uh, mimic the function of the uh, beta cells or the vesicles inside the beta cells, and uh, they can, you know, disrupt uh, only once the blood sugar level goes up and uh, release the insulin uh, quickly. Dr. Gu says they've been able to make the patch last for several hours. They hope to make it last several days. And once they do, they'll be closer to reaching their goal. Yeah, actually we are really proud of our technology and we really want to uh, uh, you know, translate it as soon as possible. So currently we are uh, working with our collaborators and uh, uh, testing on large animals like a mini pig based study. And uh, meanwhile, you know, uh, if this kind of uh, you know, mini pig study uh, successful demonstrated, we will move to the uh, human being based test immediately. Yeah. For almost 400 million people worldwide with diabetes, the prick for insulin could become a thing of the past.